I think that's an air attack. No way! That's a beautiful balloon parade! Hi there Clashers, Briz on it from Spartans, with a recap of our latest war. So a very nice win for Spartans. We cleared everything basically apart from two stars on a couple of Town Hall 10s and a one star on a Town Hall 11. And I think we gave that three goes, just couldn't get that one right. But a very nice war aside from that. And everyone did great. Town Hall 8s especially were just three starring everything for fun, having to three star bases we'd already cleaned just for lack of anything else to hit so very nice effort by the Town Hall 8s and we cleared all the 9s as well and actually got a three star on the Town Hall 10 as well which I'll show you first so very nice attack by Duncan coming in with the Golaloon and the air defences are quite exposed so he's going to come in from the south with a couple of giants to protect his queen and his queen's going to go for the air defence there. And then just using the jump and a golem, a few wizards, kind of mini kill squad. And to get his king in to take out the enemy archer queen and also grab that air defence there as well. And it's a bit clutch because the single inferno tower is on the bob king there. But just about gets both the archer queen and the air defence down. So Zap Quakes the um, southwest air defence. So he's just got one air defence left and two single infernos. So the single infernos aren't anywhere near as much a problem for your balloons as multi infernos are. So it just takes a couple of hounds to tank for the final air, air defence. And lots of haste just to speed up the um, balloons moving through the base. And it does take them a little while to take down the infernos because they're such high HP. So at this point it's all looking really good. We've still got a hound up, that's going to get fried by the Inferno. Which is good, just gives us more cleanup troops. But the Inferno up in the uh, northwest is causing a bit of trouble. Just took too long to get it down. And now there's, another, there's, a, there's a clump of balloons heading towards it. And it's just slowly eating away at them. It does take quite a long time to kill balloons. And this last balloon here just takes it down on the drop. I think this final clump of balloons in the south would probably have got to it anyway, so I don't think that changed the result. And the CC Hound did come out, so I was a bit worried that the pups would burst that and that the pups would cause some trouble, but there's just too many pups on our side here. Beautiful attack by Duncan. And so now moving down to Town Hall 9s, uh, Gamma coming in with another Go Wee Wee Queen War. So I really like these attacks, quite quite uncomplicated uh, so it's not too much that can go wrong especially on a very open base like this that really suits Go Wee Wee anyway. So Gamma's come in with his Archer Queen with healers in the southeast, and actually helped create the funnel for his Go Wee Wee troops with the Archer Queen and so his main Go Wee Wee force is going in through the east entrance and it's just with the Quakes open up the core it's just really open for the Go Wee Wee force which just suits them perfectly. And he's got a couple of heal spells to keep the witches up. There's quite a lot of mortar fire, fire coming in. So heals are quite useful to keep your witches going when they're taking a bit of splash damage fire. And Queen's just slowly walk, walking around the south of the base, dealing with everything around there at the moment. And he does have, also has a rage handy. I imagine at this point he's holding on to the rage in case he needs it for his queen. But the core's pretty much all dealt with now by the Goiri force. Got a couple of hogs to come in and help with those Teslas in the north. And now it's pretty much over even now. Because there's just nothing that can target the queen anymore. There's, it's never going to get more than one defence firing on, on it at a time and the healers behind her will see her through that so it's just, it's just basically a question of whether there's enough time by now although the 
two of the healers do wander off and start healing that little golemite. So we, we get an immortal golemite. But he does a bit of tanking, so it doesn't actually really matter. And it's just a few defences left off. A couple in the north. I think I think the golems are going to take those down. He's got a few wizards to help out there. And now just, just the queen basically walking through the base, doing her thing. And not enough left to take her out. There is a building hiding in the south corner here, so that does add a bit of time. The queen's got to come back down to take that out. But if I remember rightly, there wasn't huge time trouble in this attack. So, very nice attack by Gamma. And I think these go with Queen Warts are well worth looking into. So, save disability. So, I mean, there's lots of margin for error in this one. Another very nice attack. So moving further down, let's look at Axe taking on base 12 with a go nice Golaloon attack. So he's going to come in from the west with his kill squad. Just basically aiming to take out the air defence there, the Arch Queen and handle the Clan Castle troops. So nothing too ambitious, his heroes aren't huge. So just keeping it simple. And that all goes quite nicely. He gets a Barb King as well. And heroes have gone in. And the Archer Queen's going to handle the Clan Castle troops. Barb King's engaged the enemy Archer Queen. And there's just not enough there to stop our Archer Queen getting to that air defence and taking that out. So he zaps the air defence in the north. And so he's just basically got half the base left in the southeast to deal with. I might have actually zapped the south air defence just because of that sweeper there. Sweeper's causing a bit of trouble. It is going to slow down the loons quite a lot getting into that air defence. But as it turns out, not the end of the world. It helps helps the hound pop. And we've got three hounds for two air defences, so there's there's plenty of cover essentially. And his final hound is on the last air defence in the east. And just as it pops the remaining one comes back back up from the south and provides a bit of extra tanking. And now it's just a case of getting the balloons around the base. And there's a lot of balloons and there's only an archer tower and a wizard tower left. So it's clearly all, and a Tesla. But it's clearly all over here. And lots and lots of pups for cleaner. So a very nice overpowered attack. And Town Hall 9's did really well this war. I think we... I think we had like maybe two or three Town Hall 10s cleaning up Town Hall 9s, but got them all done and a very nice war. I thought I'd show one Town Hall 8 attack as well, and we were just stomping on the Town Hall 8s, they weren't particularly well designed. But I think this, this one is one that did take a clean up, so the first hog attack didn't work quite right. And Jane here just going in, double poison for their Clan Castle troops. And now uh, he's going to send in another hog from the northwest just to trigger that giant bomb that his first hog missed. And then coming in with a, a goal and kill squad from the southeast. And the aim here mainly just to trigger another bomb and to kill a few defences just to help, help with uh, planning where the hogs are going to go. So. He's going to launch his hogs from the south, and because of this kill squad, he knows they're basically, almost all of them, are going to head round in a clockwise direction. Which just makes planning your heels and everything much easier. And also, they can, the initial hog force are getting a bit of tanking from that kill squad. So, it means you can hold back your first heel a little while. And so, drops his heel here, and there is a giant bomb next to the sweeper. So, that he'll get some more right back up to full strength and now there's just not enough left if you watch these hogs as they go around there's heaps and heaps of hogs left and there's only four or five defenses left that can target them and he's got two heels and basically got these two heels in the bag doesn't bother using them and that's the thing if you if you get a hog attack right at town hall or late it's just massively overpowered just see how many hogs are left at the end he only used one heel throughout the attack so, really nice attack by Jane, and a really nice war by Spartans. That's it, thanks for watching.